look at 123D Design right now. I'm going to make a mug for you real quick. And I'm going to do that by first selecting the primitives and the cylinder tool to insert a cylinder. So I'll click on the tool and then I will not click again until I've put in my dimensions. And my dimensions, I'm going to just start typing on the keyboard. I'm going to put in a 1 as the radius, and then I'm going to push the tab key. And then I can change the height. I'm going to change the height to 3. And then I'm going to push Enter. And now I have this cylinder in my work area. Next thing I'm going to do is show you the easiest possible way to hollow this cylinder out. It's very, very easy. It's much easier than some of the things I was showing you how to do. I'm going to simply double click on it until I get this little gear. And then I'm going to select the shell tool. Oh, okay, it doesn't always work exactly the way I want it. I'm going to click right here, do this. Shell tool. Sometimes you have to play with it a little bit. And then it did it. It made a shell out of it. And if I select this right here, I can change how much, how wide I want the wall of that to be. Okay. So let me, uh, let me do that again real quick. So if I have my cylinder just like that, I click on it, I'm going to select this little part at the top, select the little gear, choose shell, and then I'm done. And I just, you could say you want the inside done down here. You could change the thickness of the inside. I think I'm going to make the thickness of my inside 0.1 and then push enter. And now I have that shape right there. I'm going to make my handle. I'm just going to move. I'm going to move around over here. And I'm going to select again under primitives. I'm going to use this torus. I'm going to make the major radius 1.5. No. Just 1. Eh. Yeah, one will be good. And then I'm going to use the minor radius of 0.1 or 0 0.15. I'm going to push enter. Now I have this guy. Now there's a couple different ways to chop this in half. I'm going to use the subtract tool. So I'm just going to create a box. And I'm going to make my box, say, 3 inches by... say three inches, and I'm just going to drop it right there. I'm going to click on it. And now you'll notice that I have this, it's inside of it. They're overlapping. So if I select the combine tool and then choose the subtract tool, and the first one I want to click on is the one I want to keep. If you click on the big box, it's going to cut out this circle inside. So I want to keep this. This is going to be my handle. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click this right here, this big box. And once I click, if I push enter, it cuts it away and it's gone. Now I need this guy to get over to connect to it. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click the move tool. I'm going to find this little circle thing right here. There's three of them, so you got to choose the right one. And I'm going to do a 90 degree turn on it. And then I'm going to push enter. If I push D, it'll bring it up to the surface. And now I can click and I can drag and move it. Might need to change my views a little bit so that I can Put it in the right spot so I can see down. 
Sometimes changing it to orthographic is gonna be easier because you can actually see how it's lined up. Okay. I'm gonna change it back to perspective view. And then that is good enough to submit, but I'm gonna make a couple little refinements right now. I'm gonna move the handle, move the handle up a little bit until I like where it's at. I'm going to, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna select this inside little lip right there. I'm gonna select the fillet tool Drag it in. This is not required. This is just a little extra bonus here. Okay, again, you select that little lip, a little gear, fillet tool. Okay, I'm gonna do like that. Enter, and then I'm gonna select the outside lip, fillet tool. Bring it in a little bit. That way I have a little bit of a curve. And push enter. I think that is starting to look good. Okay, now I'm gonna join these two things together. So I'm gonna say combine. I'm gonna use the merge tool. If I select merge and I select every piece I want that's touching together, and then I'll push enter. Now it's one solid piece. So whenever I'm dealing with it, if I'm moving it around, it's one solid piece. All right, if I Want to orbit it, look at it, it's all one solid piece. Okay. All right. Okay. If I select it, I'll double click on it and I'll say materials. And then I can say glossy metal. And there you go. I have a nice mug. I'll take a screenshot, submit it through Haiku, and you guys can keep watching this recording.